How do I set up this dynamic welding material using geometry node magic? So for the objects, I'm just using these simple cylinders. Now both of these have this geometry node set up with an object input and a switch. Now this object input, I can import the other cylinder, from which we can then calculate the nearest surface normal as well as the distance. Now all this information we can store within our geometry, and we are basically storing within the vertices both the distance as well as the normal. Now I also add a switch so I can disable using the targeted normal and just use the object's normal instead, as I'll only need one of the objects to actually use the targeted normal. Now in the shader editor, I want to use this distance value to create a mask to blend between the normal from our object as well as the normal we're getting from our geometry node. This will kind of give this kind of blended effect. Now for the bump, I'm using the object coordinates to a Vernoi texture, which I'm then masking out again with this distance value. Now I'm doing the same over here, the base color, masking out again the base color with this color for the welding, as well as adjusting the metallic value. And there you have it, a dynamic welding material. Now if you want to check this out in more detail, check out our resource page, we can download this for free.